YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today, guys, we'll be talking about Trap Tricks and Ragnarikas. Now, honestly, I am still learning Rikas. There are quite a lot of lines that you need to learn for Rikas. Another good variant for Ragnarikas is also Trap Tricks. Ragnarikas typically extends your board to having a copy of Stag Sovereign on the field, plus a copy of Resurgent. Uh, and even a copy of Hyperithon on, on a field. So a pretty good card as well. Uh, I think that's basically it, right? Yes. And if you are running also um, Rika, San Avalon, then this is basically one of those cards that you can actually use. We're also running the one copy of Rosemary because this will be added into the game. Now, you can remove this though. I don't think that you can actually use this to its fullest because you can get one copy of Aroma, one Aroma Mage. So we can just remove this and practically add another copy of Sarah just to be more consistent enough in summoning this to the field. You can spin this back though with the help of your Ragnarok monsters, but it's not really like half bad. If you want to add some other cards for the extra deck, just remove a copy for Sarah, but maximize the number of Sarah to two copies if ever it would be the case. You don't want to run this on one copy only. For your main deck here, we're starting off with an extra deck. So for your main deck here, we are running with three copies of Marmelo, three copies of Mantis. We're only using one copy of Dionea. Arachnocampa is one of the best cards as well. It just gains you one additional body on the field. Though two copies of Pudica is not really half bad. If you summon this, then good. If not, then it's not really like a big issue. But if you summon this and you have this in the graveyard, plus you have a copy of Holitea, you can use its effect during your opponent's turn. Uh, the three copies of Holitea is pretty much important because you spell summon your Trap Tricks monster from your graveyard, which triggers some of the special summon effects. Um, typical hand shots that you basically need, Ash Blossoms, Maxis, we have the Veilers, and we have the Imperms. We don't really use Call by the Graves here because we do want to see more Trap Cards and more Trap Tricks in its name. The copy of Ragnarok Evil Seed, you can run with one copy of this because it's not really half bad, to be honest, because you can search this one out with a copy of your Jasmine. Trust me, this comes out most of the time in your combos if you have the right cards as well. You can run with one copy of Talents and the one copy of Evil Seed if you want to run Called by the Graves. So one Seed, one, one Talents, and then the two copies of Called by the Grave. You can remove the Veilers and just settle with a copy of Drill Lockward, but quite important for the meta or the format nowadays for Master Duel. And we're also running the Hunting Dance, which can be accessed with a copy of Mantis Monk, which is quite easy. If you want more consistency though, or or whatsoever, just go for a copy of Prosperity. Prosperity is another good card as well. And like I said, you can remove a copy of Talents or a copy of Evil Seed for this, just to gain access to a copy of Prosperity. So you can just choose what card you want to send to the graveyard. And that way you can, you can actually look at your deck and then, or look at the top of your deck and then search out the good card but anywho that is basically our master deck decklist if you want to use the aroma mage package i would advise gaining access to one copy of angelica and a copy of the rosemary these two cards are practically pretty good so without further ado i think that's basically it for our main deck list let's move on with our uh combos okay guys so here we are with the combos so i have Three combos for you guys here. Uh, to start off, we have our best hand, which is the a copy of Mermelo plus a copy of Arachnocampa. This is basically full, full combo that you can use. But I'm going to showcase to you guys other combos like a copy of, a copy of Mermelo plus a trap card and a Mantis plus a trap card. So with this, let's start off this combo. Uh, we go for Mermelo first. Get one other trap hole card because we can just search Holitea later. Link off into a copy of Sarah. And then scroll summon the Arachnocampa. Use the effect of Sarah, get Holitea. Holitea will dump one trap card to the graveyard. Spell summon. Use the effect of Sarah. Spell summon Dianea. Dianea, get a trap get, get the trap card if you send. And then we rank into Astrena. Now once Strena is on the field and there's a plant monster, we can detach itself. I would advise detaching a copy of Dianea here and adding it back to our hand. We'll use this later for our combo. And with the two monsters remain, remaining on the field, uh, we go into a copy of Jasmine. So that's the only plant monster on the field. So uh, let's do this. Detach. Dianea on hand. Use the effect of Jasmine. Spell summoning a copy of Evil Seed. Now this is your Ragnarok line. Now, once Strain has been tributed uh, and then our Evil Seed is on the field, it will trigger two effects. 
First will be on the seed that will be chain link one, searching out our card, and then and then the Strena will special summon the high periton to the field for a monster negate. So let's go. We get a copy of Bloom and the Beetle, and then we go for Hypertron on the field, attaching the um, Rika on itself. From the from the search of our seed, we get a copy of our Bloom plus the Beetle, banishing our Dianea. The reason for this and not the Beetle is because we can have the Beetle on the field with its own effects to special summon. That way, we can have the Bloom later for an additional body on the field. So, there we go. Special summon, spinning back a copy of Dianea. And with the seed and a copy of Beetle, we link off into a copy of a Skeleton Soldier. And then when once the Beetle has been used as a link material, we can still summon itself to the, or one monster to the field, which we can choose to a copy of Arachnogampa. Use the effect of our Skeleton Soldier, spell summoning one Ragnar Rekka card from our graveyard. There we go. And go for a copy of Mantis, banish two cards, and then gaining access to our trap card, which is the, the Hunting Dance. With this, we go into with this we go into a copy of Bloom, spell summoning one more Ragnarika from our banished pile. That is and that is the Beetle. We use the effect of our skeletal soldier from the graveyard, spinning back our copy of Beetle. And we have additional bodies in the field. Now at this point we can rank up to a higher monster and setting up the board. So with the level two, go into a copy of Resurgent, and then with the rank three and the rank four, we can go into a copy of our stand. Now at this point, since Resurgent is in the graveyard, we can special summon this back to the field by banishing two monsters that is equal to four. So we can banish a, a copy of Jasmine and a copy of Skeletal Soldier to special summon it back to the field. And with the last Arachna Camp on the field, we can link off into a copy of Sarah. Now what is the board typically? We have two pops from the Stag Sovereign, if ever, if ever our opponent special summons a monster from the deck or the extra deck. We have one bounce from the Resurgent. We have one monster in the gate. We have Sarah to activate during each of the trap art effects. And for our graveyard, we have here a copy of Holetea. Special summon our copy of Mermelo to the field, popping one spell and trap art as well. If you want protection for your back row, you can special summon our Arachnacampa during your opponent's turn, which is kind of good as well. So it is a pretty nice board, and that is basically our Mermelu plus our Arachnocampa board. Let's move on with our, I think next up will be a Mantis and Trap um, card combo. Alright, so let's showcase that combo. So I just made it like this because it's pretty hard to search out a Mantis and a Trap card. So we got a one Mantis here plus one other Trap card. We start off this combo here. So we go for Mantis, gain access to a copy of Arachnocampa. Link off into Sarah. Same thing, it's basically the same board, but with a different starter. So there we go, we get a trap card. Any trap card will not, for that matter. Go for Hotea, dumping one trap card. Use the effect of um, the Sarah, get a copy of a Dianea, and Dianea will get, a, will get the trap hole card from our graveyard to the field. And then we do the same thing. Go for Strena, Jasmine, tribute that one there. As long as you get also the Dianea from the graveyard from the Strena. So there we go, tribute that, special summon the seed, use the effect of Strena, special summon the Hyperion, Hyperiton, Hyperiton, sorry. Special summon the Hyperiton, and then with the evil seed, get a copy of Bloom plus the Beetle. Banish the Dianea, special summon the Beetle to the field, go for a Link Summon. Same thing that we did last board, but with an additional trap card for uh, from the Mantis combo. So there we go, same thing. Uh, Mantis, banish two cards, get a trap card, link off, resurgent, then link off to stag, banish two, spell summon the resurgent, and link off finally into a copy of our trap tricks. Trap tricks, Sarah. This is the most effective, I would say, because this gains you a ton of back rows. Regardless, that is basically your board for the Mantis and the, the trap card. Let's finally move on with our final combo with the Mermelo and the Trap Art. And this is quite a, an interesting um, combo as well. Okay, so for our combo here, we have uh, Mermelo and a copy of one Trap Card. So Mermelo first on the field. There we go, gaining one Trap Card. If ever you got a copy of Holotea, then get another Trap Hole, much better. So with this, set uh, go into a copy of Sarah, then set our Holotea, dumping a copy of our Trap Hole card or normal Trap Card to spell, to spell summon itself to the, to the field as a token. Then use the effect of Sarah, get a copy of our Dianea, 
get a copy of our trap card back to the field and with this now instead of going into Astrena, there's no way that we could summon jasmine at, at this point on we, we would be uh, settling with this board but if you want to extend we can go into a copy of this Exe Master here. So go for Pengokula. Get a copy of our Arachno Kampa, since Arachno Kampa can spell summon itself to the field. And then with the two plant monsters on the field, we can go into a copy of Jasmine at this point. So you can go into the combo still. There we go. Bloom. But without the Strena, without the Hyperiton on the field. So there we go. And instead of the Dianea, we banish we will banish the, the Beetle. Which is still okay, I guess. I guess. And there we go, Mantis. Banish two. Get a copy of the trap card. Spin back one card. Go for Resurgent, and then for the stag, banish two. Go for Resurgent on the field, and setting one trap card. Now you might be saying, "Oh, we can't do anything else other than uh, use the trap cards during our opponent's turn, and then popping cards." Well. Uh, let's see. During our opponent's turn, we use the effect of our Holotea in the graveyard. Spell summon our Sarah, and that is basically how we garner resources. So, there we go. Your opponent uh, does anything else. Sets a card. There we go. A ton of sets. Popping two cards. Use the effect of Sarah. Spell summon the Mermelo. Mermelo will pop one back row. And there we go. A, a typical wipe. And then we can still get one trap card from it from the effect. Our guy is gonna snow our is gonna summon and we're gonna use the resurgent, bounce back that card, and he has a free board. So that's basically it. During the turn, if ever our monsters got wiped, we can just use the effect of the stag and the mantis to spread will summon itself back to the field. So we have a 3k body, we have a 2-6 body, and that is basically the game. So pretty nice for this uh, for these effects to actually come back to the field which is quite insane and then we can go for game later so that is our combos guys um yeah so far uh, trap tricks are kind of fun with the ragnarok has a pretty good impact with the board i'm really excited with this but the main issue here is will this be a little bit expensive than usual i'm pretty sure of it but anywho, that is basically it for today guys keep safe good luck if you like this kind of content like and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye